know, we've had so many cards and letters requesting more of these black canvases. Today, I thought I'd do something a little crazy on one of those funny little moods. So I've taken the liberty of going ahead and covering the canvas with different colors. And let's go over the colors that we used. I've taken here an alizarin crimson in about a half circle, and the whole bottom of the canvas is covered with crimson. The top is Prussian blue. And then we blended all of this together. Now, when you're preparing these black canvases at home, be sure it's a flat black that you use and allow it to dry completely before you start this. So let's go. We'll take a fan brush here, and I'm going to start with a little bit of titanium white. And let's just play a little, just a little fun. And we'll start right up in here, and we're just going to begin touching this canvas and, and letting this just play around. You can see how it's picking up the crimson underneath. Just let it go. Move the brush. Just little indications all over the place. We'll make some happy little things in the sky here. There. Just let it play. Now you can see how it's picking up the blue color. too bright. Okay, now we'll take the large brush and we'll begin blending all this together and just very gently just begin bringing it together. And this should create beautiful little clouds, little sunset type. Just turn the brush, keep it moving, circles, always in circles. There we go. up and just boom, out it comes. All right. Thought maybe today we'd do, let's do a lazy little river. is mixing with the crimson that's underneath and make some beautiful little colors. Look at that. Just pull it straight down. And this is our light source, so right under that we want it to be a little bit brighter. gently go across just enough to give it a watery effect 
And since this is wet on wet, you can move things. You can push that paint. Make these reflections bend. Okay. Now, let's begin highlighting some of these. Now, in reality, if you had a sky like this, you would have nothing but silhouettes. But when you buy your first tube of paint, you're issued an artist's license. And an artist's license says you can do anything you want to do. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take a fan brush with a little bit of Van Dyke Brown and Burn Umber, just mixed on the fan brush. And we'll put a few little trunks here and there. And all we're going to do is touch and pull. If you wanted to highlight those all in one stroke, add a little bit of yellow on one side of the brush, just a tiny bit. And when you push, you'll automatically get the highlights. Let's go back and highlight this one a little. There. Maybe, maybe there's a trunk right over here. And let's have some big trunks on through these trees. Just here and there. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a tiny little bit of magic white just to thin the paint a small amount. And I'm going to go into a little bit of the cad yellow. Maybe a little more magic white. There. Thin paint will stick to a thick paint. And we'll go into some permanent red and back to the yellow. We'll make some bright little colors here so they really stand out on your set at home. And let's go up here and push in some, just thousands of little leaves. The colors we've used underneath, the alizarin, it uh, mixes with the yellow and doesn't destroy, you don't have to wash your brush quite so much. Let's go into a little bit of the umber color. There, a little bit of the umber mixed with yellow, just to dull it down slightly. of little things all over the place. Maybe there's a little bit right there. There we go. Now, maybe I'm just going back and forth between yellow and red, ochre, a little bit of umber now and then. the fan brush, I'm just going to bring all this together here. 
Let's add a little touch of green to this. Just a tiny bit. And we'll just let the green work its way down through here. Just to bring the land and the trees all together here. like so. Once again, this may be very hard for you to see when you set it home, but I'm just putting a little Van Dyke brown and umber right in here, just to give us a nice base to work with. Okay, a little bit of a waterline underneath this one. Now then, let's take the large brush and pull it through some color. that you leave a lot of dark in these paintings. Tremendous amount of dark should be left. Now, add a little sap green to my yellow and red to make a dark color. I'll put a little bit of highlight back in here, just at the bottom of these trees, but I don't want it to be real bright. Just enough to give the indication that there's a lot of little things happening. with some crimson and Van Dyke Brown mixed on the brush again. Just mix it together on the brush. And let's put something over on this side. Maybe, maybe this is a nice tree right here. here and there. Okay. Now, I'll go back into some yellow, a little bit of permanent red, and we'll put a few little highlights on this tree, just where you think a light would strike. Okay. Anytime you want to dull it, put a little bit of green with it, a little bit of sap green with it, that'll dull it right down. Those red and green mixed together make brown. Maybe a couple little bushes up in here. And then we need some land for that to stand on. So I use a little bit of the, the Van Dyke brown and a little umber in it. Burn umber. And we'll just lay some happy little ground in here. There we go. And then we can highlight that with the umber and yellow just enough so it stands out a little. There we are. This one over here I'm going to strengthen just a little bit. It's a little bit weak, so I'm going to strengthen it. There. A little bit of highlight on it. Okay. Now let's take the same basic colors, and let's just pop a few little reflections down here in the water. Just here and there. Maybe right 
out here on the end. Ooh, there's a fireball. Nice bright when the light's striking. And we'll pop just a little bit of that down into the water. Now, with a clean, dry brush, I'm going to very gently pull downward, just like so. And then come across, just enough to give it a nice watery effect. Create a little reflection in the water. Okay. Now let's take the fan brush, a little more of the sap green. There. And we'll bring all this together with some nice little grassy areas here. Just touch, make the fan brush bend upward. Say, I've done thousands of these black canvases and they, they never stop to amaze me some of the beautiful effects that you can achieve with them. We'll turn that into part of the reflections. Come across. Alright, now we'll take the knife here. Let's put a little water line underneath this one here. Just like so. going to scratch a few little sticks here and there. Just some little indications. Okay, let's put a few little sticks all over the place. Those little sticks help create depth because each group of them show different planes in the painting. Figure out where you want your path to go. And I'm just going to do him like this, just back and forth, back and forth. And just let him start working forward. Just, just so we have a general idea of where we're going here. There we go. Maybe this is a little hill, a little bank right here. So we'll take the fan brush, a little bit of green, yellow, red, all mixed together. Just mix the colors on your brush so you've got a an absolute, I don't know what it is, it's just every color. And let's begin putting some little grassy areas in here. Oh, look at that. Let them climb right up the hill, follow the lay of the land. I know you're tired of hearing me say that by now, but it's most, most important. There we go. And keep it quite dark. I don't want to get too bright on you. Okay. Now maybe there's a maybe there's a couple of happy little bushes and trees that live right along in here somewhere. There he is, right there. Just a happy little bush. And maybe there's maybe there's another one right here. And these protrude up a little higher, so they'll catch a little more light. They'll be a little bit brighter. edges. We'll straighten those up in a second when we highlight. Now, back to the fan brush. Let's bring all this together. Start bringing it together. You know, if you've just been exposed to this for the first time and you've tried it at home, I bet 
that you never believed you could do such fantastic paintings yourself. Every day we hear from people that say, my God, I've never painted in my life, and I tried this, and it works. It really works. There we go. Just bringing that together. <clears throat> okay, maybe, maybe over in here we'll bring this right on down. Just like a nice little hill. several things. It creates more depth, but more important, it closes the end of the path, so we really don't know where it goes. It just goes right on off into the woods or somewhere. It just sort of closes it up. There's a nice little bush. You know, one thing I would like to mention while we have just a couple of minutes here. The only way we know what to paint is if you let us know. So drop me a line here, and you can address it in care of me here at WIPB, Muncie, Indiana. They do forward all the mail to me. And I'd like to know what you want on the next show. That way we can start producing paintings. And I have to practice a little bit. And we'll get them ready for you. So the next time we have a series here, we can do the type of paintings that you want to see and want to learn how to do. But we need for you to let us know. Okay, and we'll put a few more little sticks here and there. All you're doing is scratching through the paint and allowing the black canvas to show through. Just ever so often here. Okay, maybe. Maybe there's a happy little stone that's right here, so we just take some Van Dyke Brown. And just lay in a basic little stone shape. Then we can take some umber, burn umber, a little bit of the yellow. Just about dry. And then go back and paint your deer in it. You don't pick up all the underneath. 
know, so often we get questions like, how do I sign my painting? That's as varied as the art, as artists are. You sign it in a way that's unique to you. That becomes part of your trademark.